Welcome to the channel. I'm Charlie. Today I got the X5. Sorry, this is a X3 2017 model. Basically, this customer came to me three weeks ago or sometime four weeks ago. Charlie, my DPF block, can you clean it? I said to, yes, I can clean. But however, I can't take any responsibility for the cleaning because the DPF mean it need to be self clean. If it not self clean, something not right somewhere. Could be injectors, could be glow plugs, could be not well maintained services or could be not doing fuel correct level because the region process need to always more than quarter tank for the region process. Some customers have a habit 10 pound, 20 pound fuel in, then it's never going to region or oh, something other else. Could be NOx sensors, could be heater sensors or could be pressure sensor. Lot of thing involving for the DPF block. If it DPF block mean somewhere not right, that's why it's going to be blocked. Otherwise, it's going to be doing smooth jobs. It's called self-cleaning. However, after that, this customer went to the another garage because she asked me how much you are charging. I said 80 plus VAT. That is my charges because this is my professional job. No one can beat me or no one can offer my price because this is my own price for the my experience and my knowledge. However, she is not happy to pay me 80 plus VAT. Then she went to the another garage. Then after that, uh, she called me and say, look, Charlie, I want to do this thing. I'll price up for her for a job. Then after that, again, she's quiet. Then after that, however, she again asked another quotation for me. Then what happened, I'll show you. Right, I'm going to close here. She went to the another garage and she takes me this report. According to the, this report, I need to do exhaust pressure sensor and exhaust pressure pipe according to the, this report. Then however, I'll take her the price, then she is happy we do the job with me because I'm feeling I'm cheaper than the other garage, however, it's not a problem. I got the parts from the main dealer. This is the pressure sensor for the exhaust part number if you need. This is pipe we are talking. It's sit on here. This is the pipe we are going to change and this is the pressure sensor. However, like this job come to me in the middle, I can do the job, but this job I'm not giving any warranty, but I can give the warranty for the my parts. A part of that, I don't know because some scenarios because either one not work right, could be the sensors, could be injectors, could be glow plugs, could be not maintained. Some reason your exhaust going to be clogged up, high ash contain. If it high ash contain, whatever parts replace, it's not going to do the job because sometimes could be because of the this one, it's clog up your DPF. However, when you fix this one, if it the ash load too high, we need to clean the DPF first and make down the suit load. Then after that, your vehicle going to do on his own the job. But customer said, Charlie, don't worry, install this too. Then I'm going to install. But personally, I know, I explained to the customer, this one not going to be work because uh, shoot load very high. Then I don't know because some customers understand, some customers thinking, oh, sometime we are going to make a money. No, we need to give the site support. Otherwise, this DPF not doing his own job. That's why the most cause the problem, people not understanding. Once it clog up, however, we need to clean and the, make it for the correct level. Then after that, car will do the job. Otherwise, if I do this one and the leave it as it is, this process is not going to be continued. I'm 100% confidence for the that problem. Once you see the block light 
or the DPF clog up light. Don't attempt to clean the DPF, it will come back again definitely because you have to find out what's the cause for DPF block. Until you find the cause, your DPF day to day get the same problem. Be careful, be aware of the problem because I don't want to show to how am I going to do the job, but I'm getting many inquiries. I'm getting like this day to day base repairs, but I'm doing the job because I know it's not going to be success. I already explained to the customer, then customer said, don't worry Charlie, do the job. If you're not right, she said she's going to back to the person who done the diagnostic. Even person who done the diagnostic, I know they are not wrong because according to the computer diagnostic, it might be say, could be the sensor, could be the pipe, but even when you come to me, part of my assessment, I am going to check this tube or this pipe okay or not. Right, next step I am going to show you how am I going to remove the sensor and the pipe. I think this one 17 mil and the, there is a small, there is a small cruise there. First of all need to lift up this tab like a back thingy lift up right now it's out then after that we need a e-socket for the remove that before e-socket i'm going to remove 17 mil bolt when you take out there is a another washer see the one washer here there is another washer inside make sure remove inside washer also when you're going to remove the pipe Make sure when you remove the screws, don't going to drop inside. It's going to be another problem. But however, this you can see this one. Someone recently installed this one, old one. This one, nearly new. I feel in someone work around before. However, I'm going to test this one. I need to remove here and I need to, I can use the mini vac or I'm going to blow from here and have a look later. Is this blocked or not? If it blocked normally, I'm not going to even replace the new pipe. I can clean this one easily. I have a tool to clean inside carbon. Then it's back to normal. Anyway, customer choice. I don't want to get more worried and the see this is the washer I mentioned before you can see it's hanging here yeah this is the uh, uh, right see this is the washer I mean before make sure when you install new one there is a inside washer and outside also washers need to be otherwise exhaust gas escaping from here now it's there couple of thread by hand when you're going to install this sensor make sure it has this rubber o-ring it's nicely sit on then otherwise you on board identify no pressure there because pressure escape from here
just do the hand tight first and after that I'm going to install these two screws I'm going to tie that banjo bolt first, 17. Right. Then sensor. It's need to 27 mil spanner. Yeah, a bit difficult to use the spanner. I'm going to use 27 mil long socket. Right, nice and tight. Clip in. Lock the clip. Right. All done at the engine bay. Then I'm going to inside the car and play with the computer. Because some sensors we had to relearn. Start the car. You can see engine management light on yeah answer should be here I'm going to call health report you can see five faulty code under engine management right exhaust back pressure sensor before turbine whatever we change it exhaust gas pressure yeah two faulty code and mass air flow system too low measured air mass too low exhaust back pressure mass system measured air too high and the couple of message for the ABS however now we know there is a something not right in the mass air flow sensor also well however I'm going to delete everything before that I'm going to keep the record with me I'm going to take a picture of this one and keep it with me for the future reference I'm going to clear DTC Right, at the moment, nice and green screen. Uh, no any faulty code for the engine management. Right, I'm going back and switch off and start the car. Right, at the moment, engine management light disappeared. However, I'm going to rescan any faulty codes there. Still, you can see, still one faulty code left for the mass airflow to low or too high because we had to find out what's the cause for the, this problem but however I'm pretty sure this engine management light will come back while 
she used the car we have to sort out this one also this is the case when you start the middle of the job because sometimes we don't know they went to the many garages and they came to us and asked to do the particular job then we already done the job you saw but however still it's not in there but it's still in the onboard computer it's saying mass airflow problem but this one very soon uh, illuminate your engine management light and also i'm going to check what's the dpf pressure also well okay then i'm going to the data live data I'm going to rev RPM 2500 at the moment pressure not bad yeah idle also just below the limit 9.98 it's need to be below 10 just two point lower the level I'm happy a part of that I can't see anything once we sort out air mass flow then this vehicle going to be fine after that we can see miracle happen from the exhaust DPS self regeneration process miracle mean we can have a look that when it's happened because the old temperature is going up however at the moment i'm going to stop and the job but i know still this job not success if you like this problem i'm advised to you don't going to stay in the garage to garage because end of the day everything come into your pocket go with the one person start to end if it's something going wrong you can go with one person but if you go here and there now what happened every mechanic going to pass the ball. Many people call and ask me, can you clean the DPS? Yes, I can. I can clean physically installed in the car and I have a DPF cleaning machine there. I can remove the exhaust and I can clean with the machine. However, all facilities in-house. Anyway, you know now. Thank you. I'll leave it with you. See you in the next video. I'm going to check what happened to the this pipe. I feel in this pipe no need to change I never change this one normally I'm clean and reuse but we'll see <laughs> actually this pipe not block at all I'll show you see the mini way <laughs> yeah this pipe not block at all